Hi, in the previous video, we saw how Turbo Drive works in Hotwire Framework. And uh, in this video, we are going to see how Turbo Frames work. We'll start with a brief overview of the basic architecture behind Turbo Frames. And then we'll give a simple example that will help the uh, core ideas of Turbo Frames. All right. So just to recap, the way Turbo Drive works is uh, I have a diagram here. So when you uh, when a page has Turbo Drive enabled, uh, whenever you click a link or submit a form, these are the four things that happen. So first, Turbo prevents the browser from following the link. So usually uh, on a normal web application or web page, whenever you click a link, it's the browser who is making the HTTP request to the server and the fetching the response from the server. But when you have Turbo Drive enabled, Turbo prevents the uh, browser from making that request and it simply uh, cancels the event using prevent default method. Then the second thing it does is it updates the browser URL using the history API. So it will update this URL. Third thing is it requests the new page using the fetch API. So this is Turbo and Turbo then makes the fetch request to the server and receives the response. And once it receives the response, finally it replaces the body element of the current page and it merges the contents of the head tag because it, uh, if the response contains new CSS or JavaScript tag, then the new page should have that. So it merges the head and replaces the body. So that's how Turbo Drive works. And uh, now we'll take a look at how Turbo Frames work. So before I show you the example, here is a simple architecture of a Turbo Frame application. So we have an original page here. And this web page can contain any HTML content. Uh, but it will have a Turbo Frame tag. Now Turbo Frame is a custom HTML element. Uh, so you can have it uh, just like any regular HTML element like H1 or div or and you can have all the properties of HTML elements. So we have a Turbo Frame with a ID. Now IDs are unique on an HTML page. And that's how Turbo uh, keeps track of which frame need to replace. Uh, so we have a Turbo Frame with a given ID. And this Turbo Frame can have any content, but it will have a link or a form or both. So whenever uh, you click this link or submit a form within a Turbo Frame, Turbo tries to find the closest Turbo Frame because there can be more than one Turbo Frames, right? Nested within each other. So it will try to find the closest Turbo Frame unless we specifically target instructed to target a specific turbo frame but we'll that's an advanced topic and we'll we'll come back to it later so without any instructions it will just try to find the closest turbo frame uh, before that so whenever you click a response again turbo will prevent the browser from uh, fetching the re re response and it will make a fetch request to the server and when it receives the response from the response it will try to uh, this response can contain any HTML, but the key thing is it should have a Turbo Frame tag with the matching ID. So here our Turbo Frame ID was message one. The response has the ID message one. So Turbo will try to find that because it's ID, it's supposed to be unique on the page. So it tries to extract, tries to find the Turbo Frame with this ID and it only extracts that Turbo Frame. And once it has that, it only replaces this Turbo frame with the response turbo frame. It doesn't worry about the rest of the content. It simply ignored anything that's outside that turbo frame. And it replaces this content. Rest of the content on this original page does not change. So that's the basic idea behind turbo frames. You mark certain section on your page that needs to be dynamically replaced uh, with the frames and Turbo takes care of the rest. So let's uh, take a look at the simple example. Here I have a simple web index HTML page that uses uh, the index.js, which is the Turbo framework. Uh, if you need to understand how I, how I 
uh, compiled and bundled all turbo source code to single file, please watch the previous video in this series where I go over how to set up a t simple turbo project for experiments. And uh, okay, so the point is I have turbo enabled on this simple HTML page, index HTML page, and it has a h1 tag. It has a simple div with a link. So right now it's not using turbo frames. I also have a pages about.html page, which is another HTML page with a h1 tag and a simple div. So right now it's not using any frames at all. It's simply using turbo drive, which is enabled by default. So if I go to the browser and load my page, you can see it shows the contents of the index HTML, which is this is message one and update message. So, and now if I click this link, Turbo will prevent the browser from uh, contacting server. So the page didn't re reload. It, Turbo made a fetch request from and received the response from the server. So this was the response. And then Turbo simply updated the current page's body with this body and merged the contents of the head element. Okay, so that's how you got everything from the body. So we update we saw the head updated from sorry h1 tag updated from uh, turbo frames to about page and we got the new message this is message one updated okay simple so that's how turbo drive works now let's uh, convert this turbo drive app to use turbo frames so first thing we'll do is uh, we'll we only want to update uh, the idea, the basic idea is we want to update some section on our page. Okay, so for example, I want to update only update this section, and I want to keep the rest of the page intact. So what I'll do is I'll convert I'll con uh, convert this div into a turbo frame. So turbo again turbo frame is a custom element. If you want to learn more about custom elements. Um, you can check out this uh, tutorial on the MDN. Okay, um, I'll add that link in the notes. But uh, yeah, back to our example, it's a simple custom custom element. So you can have the properties it's like other HTML elements. Okay, so we have a we have wrapped our content in the turbo frame element. Okay, we did not change anything else on this page. Now, the second idea was uh, the response should contain the turbo frame right and in this example our response is uh this page which is now uh again html page uh with this content and now we want to update this div with turbo frame okay so the idea is you want to replace this part with this part it won't change anything uh, anything else on the page which we'll see so save that oh and one more thing uh if i just reload this page now i mean the home page you see the my turbo frame in a rectangle this is because i just uh, I have a simple style here which is by default turbo frame frames are invisible so if i comment this out uh, you don't see anything here, but just to make it explicit, I have added some style to that turbo frame. You can add styles to custom elements like any HTML element. So I've uh, made it a block level element. Uh, I've added a border and some padding and margin. With that, let's save that and uh, reload. And so this is the our turbo frame, okay? The rest of the page is not using turbo frame. Only this section is using turbo frame and it contains a link and the link points to pages about page and the about page has a turbo frame again with the same id this is a very important so message one is the id and here is also the message one so they're referring to the same message in a real world application you will have scenarios such as you have some sort of post or message here with a post id which is unique and then you either uh, submit the form or uh, update that post and the response contains the updated content so that's what i'm trying to simulate here all right so oops 
Uh, so I have uh, everything set up. Now let's uh, go to the browser and reload the page. I'll clean the network history. And now I'll click the update message uh, link. And you see, uh, this time the difference was it did not change anything else on the page. Only the content within the turbo frame was updated. Um, if we look at the network request, you see it made a request. The turbo made um, a request to the pages about page. And you can see the initiator was turbo. You can see, check out the stack trace here. And once it received the response, again, it received the whole response, right? So you can see the H1 tag contains the about page, which is what we have in our about page, right? But what Turbo did once it received the response, it only extracted this Turbo frame tag and replaced the existing tag with that tag, with that with the content of the response tag, okay? So that's how you get the this is message when updated, which is, which is the content coming from about HTML. And you might have also noticed that it did not update the browser URL. So if we go back, oops. when we uh, navigated using regular Turbo Drive, it had updated the URL and it, you, can, you saw the header was different. But when we um, navigated using Turbo Frames, it doesn't change the URL and it doesn't change the rest of the page. It only updates the Turbo Frame content. So that's how Turbo Frames work in a nutshell. And there are many more things that you can do with Turbo Frames, such as uh, lazy, eval lazy load the source and uh, you can also target different turbo frames or even tar uh, target uh, the whole body for example if i want to update the update the uh, header i will use a uh, target and i will pass the prop option top which is something that you can read more about on the turbo frames page so when you uh, pass the attribute of target top it uh, targets the whole page so if i reload this guy and update oh right i did not i need to put that on the index html not about html <laughs> my bad okay so if i put target top here the turbo won't sco scope this link only to this turbo frame but the whole page so let's reload this and if i click update message now you can see the header updated now it did not scope the link to only the turbo frame but the whole page so these are some some advanced concepts and we'll visit them in future for sure but uh, for uh for now i hope this was useful and you um you now have a better idea of how turbo frames work uh, to recap, uh, your page has a turbo frame with an ID and when you make a request to this server and receive a response, turbo extracts that turbo frame with the matching ID and updates its contents. It doesn't change anything on the page. Okay. If you want to change the rest of the page, you want to, you might want to target top, but we'll, um, look into that later. Um, okay. Uh, I hope that was useful and, uh, in, the next section, ne next screencast, we might uh, uh, look into some more advanced concepts. All right, uh, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments and um, take care, bye now.